Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get a no makeup makeup look, if that makes sense. So we're just going to keep things super, super natural today, and it's going to literally look like you're wearing no makeup at all. And this is perfect for people who are just getting into makeup and um, are going to middle school or high school or something like that, and aren't really like big on wearing makeup and kind of trying to ease into it. So this is perfect for you guys, or just like a natural day going out to like the grocery store or running errands or something like that. So I hope you guys like this video and let's get into it. Alright, so first I'm going to be starting out with my favorite BB cream at the moment, and that is the Urban Decay Naked Skin BB Cream with SPF 20. And I really, really like this BB cream because it like helps me stay matte all day, and it doesn't have like a lot of coverage and it doesn't make your I mean that's a good thing because I don't need a lot of coverage on my face I don't like I don't feel really that insecure about my skin um and that's kind of good for this tutorial because we're going for like a no makeup look so this is just kind of it's not gonna like make you look cakey or anything it's just gonna make you look like all your imperfections are gonna be blurred and it's just it has this really nice feel in your face and everything so Anyways, I love this BB cream. It doesn't. It, it just kind of blurs your face, and again, it just blurs your imperfections. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, so for those of you who have like a lot of acne or insecure about their skin, um, this is probably not the BB cream for you. But if you have oily skin or and are like comfortable with your um, skin as it is, then I definitely recommend this for you. I just think it's a great BB cream, and it has SPF 20 in there, so that's always a plus. So. I definitely love this BB cream. I know it is expensive. I think it's like $34 for the big tube, but this is this little bottle that's lasted me like, I think I got it like two weeks ago and I've been using it every single day and I'm, I barely made a dent in it. Um, I think this is $14. So and a little goes a long way. So I definitely, definitely love this BB cream a lot. Alright, for concealer, I'm going to be using my beloved Maybelline Dream Lumi. So I'm going to be taking... Um, the darker shade in nude and just applying that to my under eyes like so and then mixing it with the lighter shade in ivory because I'm too pale for this concealer and I'm too light I mean and I'm too dark for this concealer so just um, mixing them is a good combination for me okay this just never gives me product it like I turn it and then it's like, oh, I'm not going to give you anything. And then I turn it too many times and then it just squirts out. So, oh, I have a, just, this packaging is just not my friend. <laughs> so, now that I look like a madman or mad woman, I'm, I'm a woman. Well, girl, okay, let's just not discuss this. Okay, so I'm just going to be blending this gently to my, in, well, into my under eyes. Like so, just patting it and kind of going in this upside down triangle motion and just patting it and then taking it a little bit underneath my eyebrows so they look a little more shaped and just I'm gonna keep on patting this until it's all sink it in and I did get a comment the other day saying like you should use a, um, a brush but I kind of prefer to use my fingers because I feel like with, if I warm it up with my fingers it blends more nicely into my skin and I mean, that's just totally my preference. If you want to do this with a brush, go ahead. I mean, this is just my preference. I definitely prefer to do, like, my face products with my fingers because I just feel like warming it up with your fingers makes a huge difference. So, I mean, different strokes for different folks. And just do whatever um, is comfortable for you, um, whether it's using your fingers or brushes or whatnot. Next, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent that I got yesterday, so I'm still trying it out here because I've been using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder for so long and I'm kind of close to hitting pan, so it was just like, alright, let's, let's pick up a new powder. It's about time. I've been using it for just so long, so I wanted to, um expand my horizons a little bit so I'm just patting this on my face with my elf powder brush which I actually love so much um, so I couldn't really tell you what my opinion is about well opinion opinion of it is right now because I have been only using it for a day but I will let you know 
So next I'm going to be taking my beloved NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in Sunny. Just a classic. And I'm going to be taking this on my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and just hitting my forehead, and my temple, my jawline, and then underneath my jaw. And then the same on the other eye just to bronze up my face and then a little bit on my neck. And then I'm going to be using just a matte Pete, no, more like a just a matte pink color and this is the NYX blush in peach and this is just going to give you a really really natural youthful youthful <laughs> youthful um, look to your face because it just gives you that really like pinky blush look and I just really like this blush. Alright next we are going to be filling in the brows with what else other than my NYX eyebrow cake powder. I'm going to be taking this new brush I got from Sephora, and this is the Anastasia brush. It's like the dual-ended one um, with the spoolie and an angled brush. And I'm telling you, I mean, the kit comes with like an angled brush and a spoolie, but it makes a big difference with this brush, I think at least. And I just feel like I can get a lot, like a more full look on my brows now, and I just, I love this brush. It was kind of expensive, though. It was like... $18 for just a brush, but I'm telling you, I feel like this is a really, really well made brush. And since Anastasia knows what they're doing with their brows, I just decided to invest in it, and I feel like I made a really good decision. So I'm just going to be using this brush, obviously. Oh, I got outside the lines. Um, and just kind of making small strokes, like so. And you don't want to like since it is like a no makeup look you're gonna just try to like fill it in not like don't try to make your brows look like really really bold because you are gonna try to like make it look really natural so just kind of ease up there so we're just going to be combing it through now with a spoolie just to tidy it up and i love this spoolie it's actually <laughs> you think like all spoolies are the same but i'm telling you this one is just it's different it's great so then I'm going, whoa, okay, I just had to put that back. Um, I'm going back into my little kit here, and I'm just taking the wax and running that through my brows. Now I'm going to be starting the eyeshadow look, which we're going to keep super, super simple. So I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, of course, and just priming my lids so the eyeshadows are more vibrant. And they do not crease. So I'm going to just take that all over my lid, up to my brow bone, and in my inner corner. Okay, now we are going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. What else? I mean, this is just perfect for anybody who's going into, like, high school or middle school. It is just every color, every neutral color you would ever want and need for high school. So, or middle school, whatever. <laughs> um... So I'm going to be taking this color called Walk of Shame, just tapping it off, and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. And I really, really love this color. It's basically just like a skin tone color, and it just, it kind of like evens out like your eyelid, and it kind of just like makes the veins not so noticeable. So I'm just going to take that all the way up to my brow bone. And now I'm going to be taking this color called Naked 2 and just lightly putting this in my crease. Because again, we're trying to make this as natural as possible. So just lightly running that through my crease. I'm doing the same for my other eye. I just love this palette to death. I love how the Urban Decay shadows are formulated. I just think they are the best. I honestly... The only thing that's probably coming, like, in my collection that comes close is maybe the Lorac shadows, but I just don't reach towards my Lorac Pro Palette a lot, or the Wet n Wild shadows. I really, really love them. I don't like MAC shadows a lot. I don't know why. I've never been a fan. So, um, and Inglot shadows are really nice. If you can get your hands on them, I definitely recommend it, because they're only $6 per shadow. So, that is it for the eye look. Well, I mean, we're going to take some other shadows, but for the lid... That's all we're going to do. It's super, super natural because, again, no makeup look. It's going to be, like, really, really natural. So, anyways, that is all for the eyelid. And now we are going to be taking a small brush and taking the shade called Venus, which is a really pretty shimmery 
white color and just popping that in your inner corner and I definitely as I said before I definitely recommend this palette for those of you who are going to high school or middle school because honestly it has every color you would want and you can do a lot of looks with it I know it's only six colors but seriously it it's amazing I think this is like the first real palette I ever got when I started to collect and I just I love this palette for so long and I still do so and it's just like five matte shadows and one shimmery shadow and the shimmery shadow is Venus so anyways I'm going to be taking a small elf concealer brush and I'm going to be taking faint this like matte chocolate brown and just running this very lightly on my lower lash line just for a little more definition just like so and barely barely touch the skin because these shadows are very pigmented so you just want to be careful and it's just gonna make your eyes look a lot more defined so next I'm going to be taking my one and only love which is my Rimmel Scandalize liner in nude of course um, and I'm just going to be popping this in my waterline and this is just gonna make your eyes look a million times brighter and now I'm going to be taking my Revlon eyelash curler and I'm just gonna be curling damn lashes I'm just gonna do five little pumps here <laughs> and just curl in the lashes and now I'm going to be taking my one by one mascara by Maybelline and I just really like this mascara for like a natural look because it doesn't really volumize and lengthen that much but it does separate the lashes and it just it's versus like um the rocket which is actually my favorite mascara um this doesn't like it just gives a really really natural look to the lashes I think at least so I definitely love this mascara but I do like the rocket a little bit more so to set everything, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay D Slick um, Makeup Setting Spray, which is actually quite dirty. The bottle is white and it just, it got dirty. I just noticed that. Um, so I'm going to be shaking up the bottle and just holding it 8 to 10 inches away, as the directions say, and just spraying my face like three to time. Uh, Three, I was gonna say like three to two times, but that didn't make sense. Three times. Okay, so shaking it up, and here we go. I, I always flinch before I do this. And now I'm just going to fan my face so it can set it into my makeup. And there you go. So lastly for lips, we are going to be taking my CoverGirl Smoochy Lip Slick in hashtag sweet tweet and just applying this all over the lips. And it's just a really, really natural, like, peachy pink color. And it just kinda, it doesn't provide that much color. I mean, because it's really close to my natural lip color. It just kinda gives you, like, a little bit of, like, a glossy look. And then, and it just, I don't know, I just think it's really pretty and natural. Um, I hate the names of these things, like, hashtag sweet tweet, like, cover girl. You ain't cool. So anyways, that is the finished look. I hope you guys like this tutorial, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hello! Dress from Forever 21. Bathroom break. Three, six, five.